Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another grocery haul video. I haven't done a grocery haul video in a while, so I thought I would film this one. I did an Aldi haul today, and this one wasn't too bad. It was under $200. I only spent $170. I didn't get a whole lot of meat, but I'll share with you what I did end up getting. If you're new here, I follow the Weight Watchers program, so I do share the Weight Watcher points on my channel, but I do also try to go through and give the calories as well. So I'm gonna get right to it, and I'm gonna start with these frozen pizzas just so I can get these back in my freezer. So one thing I did get, let me start with these actually. I went through the Isle of Doom or whatever you call it, the Lane of Shame. I don't know, I've heard it called so many different things. They had these Crofton pizza pans. I thought these would be great for the nights that I make homemade pizza with the two ingredient dough. So I grabbed a couple of those. They were only $3.99. So I got those, but I do like to have these in my freezer if the grandkids come over and they want pizza um, or just, you know, maybe late at night, my husband will think he wants a pizza. These are so much cheaper than ordering out. So the points on these are 10 points for a third of the cheese pizza and then 12 points for a third of the Supreme. If you're counting calories for the cheese, it's 310 calories for a third of the pizza and 350 for a third of the Supreme. So these are the thin ones. That's why they're not too bad compared to other frozen pizzas. So let me pop those back in my freezer. Okay, moving on. I picked up some sandwich skinnies. These are the whole wheat ones for these. It's two points per bun. We've got some fish fillets in the freezer that I absolutely love, but by the time I pair them with a bun, it just seems like a lot to me, a lot of bread. So I thought these would be great for those. Like I said, two points and 110 calories for each one. I also got some Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. I just always have these for chimichangas or whatever we decide to do. Uh, might just use it for like a turkey and cheese wrap. These are only one point per wrap and they are 50 calories. I believe these, no, 60. So these are 60 calories and one point per wrap. And then I also got some 40 calorie bread. This is 40 calorie wheat bread. And for this, it's a true one for one, one point for one point, one, one point for one slice and two points for two slices. And then of course, 40 calories per slice. I got some blackberries. They had those on sale this week. I also got some kiwi, some bananas. I really like smaller bananas, but they only had the bigger ones today. I needed some more frozen berries for my smoothies. I've just been really enjoying smoothies lately, whether it be in the morning or just a small smoothie in the afternoon when it's real hot out. I haven't seen this kind at Aldi before. It's cherry berry blend, it has strawberry, blueberry, dark sweet cherry, and sour cherry. So I meant to buy a pineapple and cut a pineapple up and freeze that, but I forgot. And then I got some orange juice. This is the Fit and Active 50 calories. So it's 50 calories for eight ounces or two points. I got some cooking spray. I got some mushrooms, a bunch of zucchini. Y'all know I could live on zucchini whether I spiralize it or just cook it up in a pan. I love it. And then I also got some broccoli. Probably broccoli and zucchini are pretty much the two vegetables that I eat the most of. And then I also got some green beans. I got some romaine lettuce, some beef steak, tomatoes, some baby carrots. And then over here, I got some raw almonds, pecans, and pistachio kernels. This is five points for a quarter cup when you scan it, but I don't usually have a quarter cup. When I have these, it's just a real small amount, so maybe like an eighth of a cup, so that's only two points. If you're counting calories, it's 170 calories for an ounce serving. And I also picked up this brown gravy mix. I just like to have gravy mix in my pantry just in case I need it for something. If I make a mashed potato, sometimes we like to put gravy on it. And this kind is pretty low. I only count it as one point. It's one point for a tablespoon of the powder, but you just mix it with water. So I usually just drizzle it over my food. So I just count it as a point. And calories, uh, 20 calories for a tablespoon. I also picked up some pesto. I don't, I want to say I bought this kind before and I didn't care for it. When I got home, I got thinking and I, th I think I bought this kind before. I can't remember. So I'll have to try it. But for this kind, it's one tablespoon is two points. I don't usually mix a whole lot of this like in recipes. I like to just kind of measure out the tablespoon and just put it in an individual serving of something. So one tablespoon is two points. If you're counting calories, it's 210 calories for a quarter cup. I also got some 
salsa con queso. So if you follow me in the very beginning, you remember I used to buy this all the time. I used to dip my crackers in this and just kind of have a snack out of it, but lately I've been using it more in recipes, like as a topping to chicken or something like that. I usually put some of it in like a sandwich bag and cut a hole in the corner and then just kind of squeeze it out over top of recipes. This is really good on chicken too. So back when I first started Weight Watchers, this used to be two, you could have two tablespoons for one point, but now it's one tablespoon for one point, and it is 45 calories per tablespoon. I also got some eggs, those are zero and 70 calories. I picked up this roasted garlic Alfredo. This wasn't too bad, it was two points for a third of a cup, so I'm anxious to try that, see how I like it. That is 45 calories for a quarter of a cup. And then I picked up a couple more things of the teriyaki stir fry sauce that I absolutely love. This is what I use to make like my stir fry with all the veggies and the scallops. I made like a, a bowl with scallops and veggies and I use this and it is so good. One point per tablespoon. I believe when you have two tablespoons though it does become three points and the calories are 25 calories for a tablespoon. I also found this. Let me know if you've tried this kind. So I usually get the Bolthouse Farms ranch uh, yogurt dressing, which is really good, but they have this salsa ranch. So I am really excited to try this. Let me know if you've had it. This is one point for a tablespoon and 45 calories. And I wanna say I scanned this and if you have two tablespoons, it's two points. So it's like a true one for one. I'm gonna stick this little clip in somewhere. Oh my gosh, that salsa ranch, it is so good. I have these little, these are the, I can't think of the brand, it's Bear, B-A-R-E, the little bear chicken breast, they're lightly breaded chicken breasts. I dipped it in that salsa ranch. Oh my gosh, it is so good to use on things like this chicken. And then they also had this garlic, how do you say that, aioli spread. It says it's great as a sandwich spread or for dipping, but I made a garlic aioli chicken breast before, I think. So that's what I'm planning on using it for. It's two points for one tablespoon, but I'm thinking when you're having it with chicken breast or you know some type of zero point food, then that's gonna be worth it. So that's what I try and do is use like a bunch of zero point vegetables and zero point protein as your base of your meal. And then that way you've got some room to add in things like this. I also got a couple things of olives. We were thinking of having chicken tacos tonight, but not really sure. So if we do, we like to cut up olives on there. You can have four olives for one point. And if you're counting calories, four olives is 30 calories. I got a couple of things of zero point green beans, counting calories, 20 calories for half a cup. I also got a big thing of gold potatoes. For these, you can have a six ounce potato for three points. And I think calories are like, I don't know, 110, I think for 5.3 ounce. Yeah, 110 for 5.3 ounce potato. And then they had these. These are cheese tortellini and mushroom tortellini. So I just picked these up. I thought maybe I could bulk these up with a bunch of vegetables. So when I scanned it, it's nine points for a cup uh, for both of them, but then it's only four points for half a cup. So I'm thinking if I use like uh, vegetables, a bunch of vegetables, maybe add in some chicken breast and use those as the bulk of a meal, and then just add in a half of a cup of these, and maybe even with some of this Alfredo, I'm thinking that would be really good. Or I'm thinking maybe like some shrimp with it or scallops. I don't know. There's so many things you could do with that. I also got a thing of coleslaw. So I forgot to mention fruits and vegetables are all zero points on Weight Watchers. So I don't usually give the points or calories for those. Obviously, it depends on how much you have. Um, except for fruit. If you are on the diabetic plan on Weight Watchers, then your fruit, you do have to count. So I got some coleslaw. I like to bulk up my salads with some coleslaw. I also got some spinach. I, just, I don't care for spinach raw like in salads, but I do like it cooked in with like a chicken recipe. Actually, that would be good in with these um, or in smoothies. 
And then I picked up a dinner kit. I just wanted the tacos, but they didn't have just plain tacos, so I got a dinner kit. For those shells, it's the hard taco shells. For those, you can have three shells is four points. If you only have two shells, it's three points, which is usually what I'll do. I'll have two shells with it. Sometimes I'll break it up, make it a salad. But if you decide you just want one shell, then it's only one point. And the calories on these are 130 calories. Well, the calories on this is based on what's in it. So for two taco shells, a tablespoon of sauce, and a teaspoon of seasoning is 130 calories. Also back there, got some chicken stuffing. For that, it is three points for a serving. It's kind of weird how the servings are on these. It's a half a cup of dry mix, which makes half a cup of prepared. So I think this calls for butter. I don't usually add butter to mine. I just add the water and that's it. I just add a little bit extra water. Um, and then that way it's, I don't go by the prepared, I go by the mix. So 110 calories for a serving and then three points. But if you add butter, that's gonna add more. And in front of that, <laughs> these are little chocolate bars. My husband likes these. So I used to get him like the great big chocolate bars. He is just, he has to have something chocolate at night. He's just always been that way. But these he really likes. They're just little single servings. They are like, I think 11, 12 points for a candy bar, but uh, 230 calories for one of the bars. It comes with five of them. So I got him the milk chocolate and also some white chocolate. He hasn't tried the white chocolate ones yet. I just noticed those today. I also got some cauliflower. I got some turkey pepperoni. For this, you can have 20 slices for two points or 12 slices for one, or if you just wanted four slices, maybe you're just making a real tiny mini pizza or something, four slices is zero. If you're counting calories, it's 70 calories for 17 slices. I also got some mozzarella cheese. This is three points for a quarter cup and 80 calories for quarter cup. And some reduced fat Mexican. This one is four points for a quarter cup and 90 calories for a quarter cup. I also got some skipjack tuna that's zero points on Weight Watchers and 110 calories per can. I also got some whole wheat spaghetti. This is pretty much the only spaghetti that I eat anymore. I, I love this spaghetti. It's five points for a two ounce serving and 200 calories. I grabbed a thing of bacon bits. I just like to have these just to throw in a salad or maybe throw in with some eggs. One point for a tablespoon or 30 calories. I got some Munster cheese for my husband. This is three points per slice. Oh, I say for my husband, sometimes I'll eat this. Three points per slice or 80 calories. My favorite cheese though is feta. I use this on as much as I can. This is two points per ounce, but I usually only have half an ounce. So I mentioned in previous videos what I usually do with this. This is an eight ounce uh, package. So if you cut this into eight, it's pretty big blocks. So what I usually do is just take the whole block, I take it out of the package and I just cut it evenly into 16 little blocks. And then that way I know each block I pull out is only one point. I also got some oven roasted turkey breast. This is zero on Weight Watchers and calories, I think it's like 60. Okay, come on, we're over 50. We can't read that fine print. Um, 60 calories for two slices, which is two ounces. And then I got three things of this white cheddar cheese. So I usually buy three of these at a time and I put a couple of them in my freezer and they freeze real good. You can't even notice the difference when you take them out. These ones are five points for an ounce and 110 calories. And I also picked up some imitation crab meat. <laughs> I know a lot of you say, how can you eat that? So I like to have this like in salads and stuff. I like, I love it honestly in like mushrooms, make some crab stuffed mushrooms. You can mix it with some laughing cow cheese or something or cream cheese and it makes really good stuffed mushrooms. So I got that for this kind. It is three points for half a cup and 110 calories for half a cup. So I got some salmon. I just picked up one of these. I We have been absolutely loving the cedar plank salmon from Aldi. I got it, not accidentally, but I got it one time because I liked the cut of it better. 
and my husband cooked it on the grill and that is so good that way we swore that that's how we're going to have salmon from now on but they were all out of the cedar plank so i'm definitely going to be going back and probably stocking up on like three of those cedar plank salmon because they're that good and they're zero points made that way like we're not having any toppings on it or anything it's so good so this salmon is zero points on weight watchers and for salmon 250 calories for four ounces I also got a thing of ground chicken. This is what I like to use for the tacos. And this is four points for four ounces and 160 calories for four ounces. And then I also got these thick cut, center cut pork chops. These are really good. And I usually, what I usually do is marinate them in like Lowry's, I forget what kind it is. I think it's like Lowry's garlic and herb. I believe something like that but it comes it's like adding a point to it but it's so good and then my husband will usually grill them so this is from what I when I scanned it it just has like people that put it in so if that's correct what it came up with it's five points for four ounces and then calories on this is 190 calories for four ounces I believe that's what that says it's kind of covered up but I'm pretty sure that's what it says so look what I ended up doing. <laughs> I actually had to get just a few things from Walmart, but I didn't plan on filming them. They were like uh, dishwasher soap and makeup remover, makeup, things like that. So, but they did have these cedar grilling planks there. So I got some of those. I got a couple of those. That way we can use those for the salmon. So I got that from Walmart. And then I went ahead and got a thing of iceberg lettuce and also some peas i meant to get some peas from aldi and i forgot i also got some laughing cow cheese these are one point per wedge and then i went ahead and just got some pineapple chunks i also got some lowry's seasoning we actually used to use this years ago and i don't know why but we just kind of stopped using it but this is really good it's uh lowry's herb and garlic and it's only 15 minute marinade it's not like one that you need to marinate it overnight and it's only 10 calories for a tablespoon. It's zero points for a tablespoon and then one point for uh, two tablespoons. I just count it as zero because it just gets marinated in it. I don't think I'm eating two tablespoons of it. Either way, I still count it as zero. They also have a signature steakhouse one, I believe it's called, and that one is real good as well. And then I got a couple things of roasted red peppers. I didn't realize I was getting low on these. I love these. I also got some coleslaw dressing. This is light dressing. I haven't tried this kind before. For this, it's one tablespoon for two points, or if you have two tablespoons, it's five. So I'll probably just make like an individual serving and just use the one tablespoon. And the calories on this, 90 calories for two tablespoons. So that was Walmart. And then I also picked up just a couple of things at Publix. Publix this week had Lily's Baking Chips BOGO, which is a big deal because these are fairly expensive. So I don't like to buy these too much, um, but they're great in recipes. This is the white baking chips and these are really good. You can have a 17 of them for one point or 29 for two. I also got some shake and bake. This I use for making homemade chicken patties. I'm trying to think Ashley tracks points on Instagram I think is where I got the recipe from and this is one point for an eighth of a package but if you go to her Instagram it's at, I think it's Ashley tracks points she should have it on there it's it is really good they're really good chicken patties chef Ali's kitchen also has a recipe that I want to try too but I don't think that one uses the shake and bake I just picked up some of these good culture cottage cheese this is our favorite two points for each one and then I also picked up some of these baby bells. They had these BOGO as well. They had the six count BOGO and also the 12 count. I just got the six count, but this is the light kind. And for these, it's two points per wedge and 50 calories per wedge. Oh, and I also got a couple lemons and a couple limes. So that is my entire grocery haul for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.